Good morning, my YouTube friends. How is everyone this morning? It is a Friday. Yay. Yay. Oh my goodness. And just, I just finished brushing my teeth. Um, oh, I forgot to do my flow nays before I turned on the video. I'm pretty sure y'all probably don't want to see me do that. Ugh. I have allergies really, really bad. You know, I've gotten into this habit of bringing you guys along with me as I'm getting ready for work. I have on my Hogwarts sleepwear. Yes, I am a Harry Potter fan. Huge Harry Potter fan. I have all the books. I own all the movies. All that good stuff. You know, taking care of my... Uh, what I call my mustache. And, of course, the little you we all can sometimes get this uni, unibrow going right here. So, let's get let's get rid of that. Oh, my nose. Just, I'm going to always check to make sure. There we go. All right. So, yes. Yes, huge Harry Potter fan. Huge. Love Harry Potter. Um, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. I do, mostly I try to do quilting. I am a quilter. As as big as a Harry Potter fan as I am, I am a bigger quilter, I think. I love, love, love making quilts. I love making quilts. I love sewing. I love hand stitching. I love embroidery. I love just about anything to do with fabric. Just about anything to do with fabric. Oh, goodness. So, I do that. I um, also do various crafts. I do urban, because I live in the middle of a city. I do urban farming and gardening. Um, I have a greenhouse that we built. Um, I've been taking you along on the ride for when I get ready in the morning and showing you some of the products that I use. And I want to show you this morning, I used this in my hair this morning because my hair is really naturally curly. I hope that y'all can see this very well. And I know this is backwards for you guys. It's curly, sexy hair. And I really love this stuff. It really nourish it, nourishes your hair. So I really, I really like it. And there, just wanted to show y'all because I had fixed my hair before I turned on the, uh, I turned on the camera. So, and all of my makeup, purchased from Walmart or the Dollar General or um, places like that because I mean that's just I have never purchased like high-end high-end makeup I'm I've not ever been able to afford it so I'm just going to be honest about that I'm not ever been able to afford that and I apply a little bit of concealer around my eyes over the bridge of my nose, and just a little dab on my chin. And I don't have blender brushes or any of that kind of stuff. I just was never taught to put makeup on that way. And I use a sponge. I do use a sponge. I try never to put my, my fingers, well, not never, because never is a long time. But I do try not to use my fingers to put on my makeup because I found that that causes breakouts even though we wash our hands 50 times a day it uh it does cause breakouts but i am uh i'm 55 years old so if you're a more mature woman this is how i do my makeup and i really really like to look uh natural i like a more natural i want to wear makeup but not want to look like i wear makeup and there's a lot of times I don't wear makeup. Um, you'll see me on the weekends recording the videos. I have no makeup on. Um, I believe that we should give our skin time for rest and let it breathe. Okay. Because I, I do. I think that this, stu this stuff, now that I'm all spotty, this stuff uh, clogs the pores. And... Um, You need to give that your skin time to breathe. 
And my coworker is so sweet. She told me, she said, you're just as pretty without makeup as you are with it. I've never thought of myself as pretty. Um, so that was so sweet of her. That was so, so endearing and so sweet. And, and I just love her. I just love her. And she's, she, she's just something else. I love my coworker. She sits at the desk right across from me, so... So, I think I'm going to start naming this series, uh, What Am I Wearing, or something like that. I don't know. It's a vlog. It's a vlog. I call it a vlog, and it's actually pronounced vlog, I think. I'm old. Come on. Give me a break. So, <laughs> but anyway, so if you're new, back to what I was saying. <clears throat> so, if you're new, I do a little bit of everything on this channel. From quilting, sewing, gardening, I want to um, I want to plant a flower garden, a a pick. Is that the word? A pick flower garden. I want to plant a flower garden this year that I can gather the flowers to make flower arrangements for my house. So because I love flower arrangements, I do. So I'm using CoverGirl. Uh, the concealer is CoverGirl, the foundation is CoverGirl, and my pressed powder is CoverGirl. I wish I could find one product that would replace all of those and only use one product. And the blush that I use is a br actual bronzing powder. I picked this up either at the Dollar Tree or the Dollar General, and I don't have my glasses on. There we go. So I can't tell you, I, I can't see it with no glasses. And then I use Maybelline. I use a mixture of Maybelline and LA Color eyeshadow. And I have to have a mirror, guys. Can't see. So anyway, so welcome, welcome, welcome to all the new subscribers to my channel. I hope that you find a home here and find something that you like to watch in my menagerie of stuff that I do. I am always busy. And I do come in and take a break. I do. There are some days, like last night, I quit about, I quit what I was doing about uh, seven and sat down to watch a little TV and to work on something. I was actually working on something that turned out to be a huge flop. So I've got to figure it out and then we are going to make something to for uh, decoration once I figure out what I'm doing wrong. And thank you for all of y'all for y'all who dropped a comment to let me know what quilt projects you would like us to do together, I am going to start compiling a list. So if you have a quilt that you have always wanted to make and like you're just not sure that you want to make it by yourself or you would like somebody to make it with you, anyway, drop a link and a comment let me know so I can add it to the list. The only thing I ask is that be it be beginner slash intermediate friendly. And you have a link to the pattern. You have to have a link. So let me know. Let me know. And my mascara, I think my mascara is by CoverGirl too. I believe. I've showed this on the previous video. And, and I know I make all kinds of weird faces as I'm putting on my makeup. I know. I noticed it when I'm going back to edit the videos. I'm like, oh my gosh, look at those weird faces. It's, <laughs> it's funny how we do things like that. And uh, a lot of my clothes, guys, almost all of my clothes are thrifted. So, 
So almost everything that you see me wear, except for my underclothes. Now, I don't thrift my underclothes. I buy my bras, even though I'm little. I have big, I'm well endowed up front. Let's put it that way. <laughs> so I do buy my bras from Lane Bryant. I like the, they're um, a padded bra. And I really, really like them. The next time I go to get some, um, I will show you the ones that I get. I like the fit and the support. I'm not sponsored by any of these people. I just happen to to like them. I, I just happen to like them. Okay, there we go. And I think we'll put on just a little bit of this. Uh, uh, a little bit. There we go. There I am, all beautiful for the day. <laughs> Oh gosh. Oh, and the lip gloss um or this it's a matte finish. It's called Believe. Dollar General. That's where I got it. Was well, the Dollar General. I said I'd pick up quite a few of my things from the Dollar General. Okay, guys. So now it is time to go figure out what we are going to wear today. I will show you as soon as I get it picked out. So, I am dressed and I'm trying to scoot you far enough back. Well, my alarm went off and kicked us off. So, hopefully you can see what I got on. I'm going to have to get a full length mirror to put in here so I can show you via the mirror. So, the t-shirt that is on up under here, I got that at the thrift store. So, that is a thrifted item. The actual dress with these nice, big, huge pockets was purchased at... I believe TJ Maxx in Alabama on sale. I'm sorry I can't throw a link below for you guys, but I really love it. it. has these really big, deep, huge pockets. It's a khaki color, so it's a really neutral color. I have on leggings up under it because I explained why in one video. And on Fridays, because it's a day of love, um, Fridays is ruled by the planet Venus, and Venus is known as the goddess of love. I try to incorporate red or rose quartz or something like that into my attire. So, I am going to wear my red cover girl little sneakers, my favorite sneakers, and I'm also going to, to wear this. Can y'all see that? It's blurry. It's, it's blurry. I'm going to wear this rose quartz necklace. So, I'm going to bring a little bit of that love into my life today. The energy of love and friendship and those kinds of things. Yep. So, now I have that necklace on and I think I'm also going to wear some garnet and rose quartz and this one right here is clear quartz and terahertz just to amplify to amplify those energies of uh love you know to help bring love and friendship and companionship just to bring those energies into my life i'm happily married so i'm not looking for for love like that kind of love so to speak okay all right guys so i'm gonna finish uh getting i'm gonna put my shoes on finish getting ready make the bed and you can't see me i'm sorry 
and I'll meet you back here in a few minutes. Bye for now. All right, my lovely souls, we are on our way. I am dressed and got all my paraphernalia in the car. Uh, and we are, oh, my mommy is, or my daddy is up. It looks like my mommy is up. I see the light on. My mom and dad live. And y'all are a little crooked, but there's not much I can do about it, so sorry. Uh, my mom and dad live, like, diagonally across the street from us. Just right down the street, diagonal. Uh, two houses down. So I see, I can see them when I pull out each morning. But yep, mom, mom, it looks like mama. It looks like she's in her uh, sewing room or paint. She has an art studio. So she's, my mom is an artist. So it looked like she's in her art studio. And the jiggling around in the back that you hear is I have some plates and some dishes back there that's going to the Goodwill thrift store tomorrow. Um, I am going to be brave and take y'all shopping with me as I thrift and hunt for, um, I need to find me some sweaters. I need a few cardigans. I need a big basket. <coughs> I need a basket to put egg cartons in for, you know, cause I have chickens, so I get eggs every day. And I have them in this paper bag up on top of the cabinet. Well, I'd like to find a nice basket to store those in instead of a paper bag. I mean, let's find something that looks a little nicer than a paper bag. So, you know, I kind of have a, I kind of make me a list of things that I want to look for when I go to the thrift store. So I'm not randomly buying stuff that I don't need. I don't know. Do y'all do that? And then, of course, I'm going to come upon something that I'm absolutely going to have to have. And that's fine. And there's also this table in our hallway that I need to decorate for fall. So it's more, right now it looks like spring, it's been there. So I would really like to decorate this little table for fall. And I found the most coolest thing ever on Amazon, y'all. And I'm gonna have to open an Amazon, just the things that I like. And I can drop them in that I buy off Amazon that you might be interested in. So I will try and get all this stuff done. Um, they're called rechargeable light bulbs. And where this table is, there's no plug-in, but I could put a, a lamp there with a rechargeable light bulb. Is that not the coolest thing ever? You just to unscrew the light bulb, plug it in and charge it up, and according to what I've read on the description on Amazon, the charge can last up to 10 hours. I'm not gonna be burning that light every day, all day long. You know, just here and there. So, I'm like, so it doesn't matter if you have a plug-in where you want to put a lamp. You just get rechargeable LED light bulbs. How cool is that? So, so I'm on the hunt for a lamp to go in that spot. And then maybe some, some items that I could flip or revamp into fall, Samhain, Halloween, depends on the faith that you follow. Um, Samhain, however you want to pronounce it, Samhain, Samhain, it's Halloween, it's, the, it's, it's celebrating uh, our ancestors uh, and those who have been before us and who have passed on the Day of the Dead, uh, uh, those people who celebrate those holidays. There we go. How, I'm trying to be politically correct here, okay? So, my faith is my faith, and I do not push my beliefs and my faith on other people, but my beliefs and my faith and my practices are going to come into play on my YouTube channel. Um, so, with that being said, I hope that you continue to like and subscribe and share my channel because I'm a little eclectic in my beliefs. Um, and I hope that that speaks to some of you and really gives some of you hope that can't be as out in the open with your beliefs. And I'm really not trying to hide my beliefs in any shape, form, or fashion. I just don't want to push my beliefs and my faith off on someone else. And I hope that that makes sense. I really do. And I know
know it's really dark and y'all are probably having a really hard time seeing me and I apologize for that. I don't know any way to make it any lighter. <laughs> I, I do apologize for that, but it is, I know it's dark because I go to work way too early. Extremely, that might help a little bit if I turn on my maps where we have a little light going in. And we got a pokey Sally in front of us. I'm glad I'm not going down 67 today. It looks like they already have traffic issues down that way. I generally go the interstate, so it takes me like seven minutes, seven miles out of the way. Well worth seven extra minutes or whatever it totals out to be because I hate traffic. So anyway, got some shopping we're going to be doing this weekend. Like I said, carry you guys along. I'm going to get over not necessarily that fear, but being uncomfortable with it. And uh, before I let you guys go, now that I have a lot on the situation, I'm ready to end the video. I just want to wish you all a blessed day. I want to send you blessings. Um, I hope that love finds you today in the form of friendship or if you're looking for romantic love, that that finds you today as well. I'm sending each and every one of you love, friendship. I send you hope. I send you joy. And I ask that opportunities and doors open before you today. And I just lift each and every one of you up for blessings. And I wish you a wonderful, wonderful, love-filled day today on this beautiful Friday. And um, I will catch you back here in the sewing room out in the greenhouse. Haven't done really a video in the greenhouse yet, but out in the greenhouse. Out in the yard planting flowers. No telling where we're going to find one another. But have a wonderful day. With love, I send to each and every one of you. Bye for now.